Night Sky December 2022 While December is a month of extremes cold and dark in the northern hemisphere, and opposite in the southern, it's also one of the best months of the year for amateur astronomers and stargazers. December 2022 is also a busy month in the night sky. There's the standard, an impressive, spate of meteor showers that pepper the calendar, as well as close visual approaches and lunar occultations, with almost all of the visible planets, and one that requires equipment to spot. There's also the December solstice, which marks the changing season, and an ideal opportunity to see a neighboring galaxy. In short, there's no shortage of reasons to bundle up and head out under the cold, clear skies of this month. Let's take a look at astronomy events for December 2022. December 2 peak of the Fionicid meteor shower. While December is best known for two other meteor showers, the highly active Geminids mid-month, and the lesser but still impressive Ursids in late December, the first meteor shower of the month, is actually on the night of December 2nd. On this night, the Phoenicid meteor shower peaks with only a small number of meteors per hour. For most viewers in North America, the Phoenicids will be below the horizon and not visible. This is because the radiant point in the constellation Phoenix is best visible from nearer the equator in the southern hemisphere. For stargazers in Central and South America, Southern Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Southeast Asia, and Asenia, this is a fun chance to try and spot a different meteor shower this month. December 5 Lunar Occultation of Uranus All jokes aside about the Moon and Uranus, the occultations continue, and will continue to do so throughout 2023. The final lunar occultation of Uranus in 2022 will happen on the night of December 5th. Those in the viewing area Eastern Europe, the Northern Middle East, and Russia will be able to use a telescope to spot Uranus appearing to pass behind the moon. For the rest of us, we'll see a close approach between the moon and Uranus. The actual moment of close approach lunar occultation will happen during the day for those of us in the western hemisphere, but they'll still appear in the same part of the sky once the sun sets. December 6 peak of the Alpha Cassiopeid meteor shower If you're ready for another chance to spot meteors, consider heading out in the morning of December 6. This night is also the peak of the Alpha Cassiopeid meteor shower, which is right in the same part of the sky, as Comet Borisov may be spotted. December 7 Lunar Occultation of Mars as I mentioned, 2023 is a year of many lunar occultations, and we're starting to see that already this month. In the morning hours of December 7th, the moon will pass in front of Mars for some viewers, for others, they will appear very close together in the sky. December 7 peak of the puppet Velid meteor shower, radiating from a point between the Puppis and Vela constellations in the sky, you can potentially spot a few meteors per hour this night. For the best odds, Plan to be out stargazing between midnight and 3 a.m. local time. December 9 peak of the Monoceratid meteor shower for Southern Hemisphere stargazers, here's another meteor shower for you. For the whole night of December 9th, look for meteors from the radiant point in Monoceros. As many people aren't familiar with the faint constellation of Monoceros, look for it in the space between Orion to the west, Gemini to the north. Canis Major to the south and Hydra to the east. The best meteor spotting prospects will be between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. local time. December 12 peak of the A Hydrid meteor shower. December 12 is the peak of yet another meteor shower in December. The A Hydrid meteor shower. On this night, you can spot a few meteors per hour from the radiant point in the constellation Hydra. The best time to try and spot meteors will be in the pre-dawn hours from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. local time on the morning of 12th. However, you should be able to see some meteors after sunset on December 11th, if that's the time you choose to head out stargazing. December 13 peak of the Geminid meteor shower. If you haven't seen any of the meteor showers so far month, December 13th to 14th is the night for it. On this night, the Geminid meteor shower will peak with up to 120 meteors per hour, but we probably won't see that many. Look for meteors coming from the constellation of Gemini. Use the bright stars of Castor and Pollux to spot the constellation in the northern sky, 
for most viewers, meteor activity is expected to peak around in the pre-dawn hours of the 14th, but will be seen throughout the night of the 13th to 14th. Gemini rises around 10 p.m. on the 13th, so it's possible to spot them all night after that. Unfortunately, the moon will be 60% and in its waning gibbous phase. This means it will likely present some challenges to spotting all of the meteors that occur this night. December 19 Peak of the December Leonis Minarid Meteor Shower Meteors, meteors, everywhere. While the December Leonis Minarid Meteor Shower is one of the lesser known and least active of the month, it's still a fun astronomical event. If you find yourself out for a winter solstice celebration, and the skies are dark, on the night of December 19th, look for up to three meteors per hour, from the radiant point in Leo Minor, the constellation will move high across the southern sky for most viewers. December 21 December Solstice for the Northern Hemisphere December 21 marks the winter solstice. We've got a great list of winter solstice celebrations to inspire you on the longest night of the year, or you could just plan on some stargazing, as the moon will be only 18% illuminated. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's the shortest night of the year the summer solstice. December 22nd peak of the Ursid meteor shower. While the Geminids are the star of December's meteoric events, don't forget that the Ursids occur too, peaking on the 22nd this year. The Ursids occur from December 17th to 26th. This year, you can expect to see Ursids in the pre-dawn hours of the 22nd, when the radiant point, Ursa Minor, is at its highest point in the sky. Look for the North Star to find Ursa Minor and then scan the whole northern sky to try and spot these meteors as they occur. As Ursa Minor is a circumpolar constellation, it's possible to try and spot meteors the entire night. Also, the moon will be at its new phase, and the sky will be exceptionally dark. December 24 Mercury at its evening peak. While there won't be a Christmas comet or great conjunction this year, Mercury will sub in to mark the major December holiday. On Christmas Eve, you'll have a chance to spot tiny Mercury, after the sun dips below the horizon. Since Mercury is so close to the sun, we can only observe it when it reaches its highest Aka visually furthest from the sun. This occurs cyclically as part of Mercury's 88-day orbit. Sometimes Mercury reaches its peak in the morning, then in the evening. In any case, on December 24th, you'll be able to see Mercury at 12 degrees above the western horizon just after sunset. This is a great opportunity to head out and try to spot the smallest planet. December 31st Happy New Year 2023 It is time to say goodbye to the year 2022. Some major events that will remain in history for year 2022 is the first images from James Webb Space Telescope. The launch of Artemis mission to Moon. Wish all astronomy lovers a very happy new year and a lot of stargazing in 2023. Hope you will enjoy the December 2022 astronomy events with the Geminids meteor shower. If you enjoyed watching the video, do give us a like. Also share the same with astronomy lovers. And subscribe to our channel, Secrets of Space, for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.